Good, good morning. Uh, my name is Stan Kata uh, from the Minister of Finance in Malawi. I am a de Deputy Director responsible for aid and debt management uh, in the Minister of Finance. And specifically, uh, I am responsible for coordinating uh, information flows, uh, particularly on uh, aid, uh, aid as well as uh, uh, debt uh, management issues. Um, in respect of our aid uh, uh, management, the Minister of Finance in Malawi uh, made a decision in 2008 to start using the aid management platform as a system uh, for recording uh, aid inflows. Prior to this, the Minister was using uh, Excel-based spreadsheets uh, to record as well as manage uh, these uh, inflows. But however, uh, Excel spreadsheets, uh, although they are very useful, uh, they do have their own uh, data limitations in the sense that uh, the people who are working on them uh, at some point would uh, be handling uh, a lot of uh, information in terms of so many rows or columns, uh, which becomes very cumbersome. So in view of that, uh, we made a decision uh, to start using um, a comprehensive system uh, for aid uh, recording. Uh, we had a study tour to uh, the government of Ethiopia in 2007, and after being impressed with uh, the system in terms of its capabilities, uh, we decided that uh, AMP was the uh, way to go in as far as uh, uh, aid uh, reporting and management was concerned. And how has the aid management platform changed the way that you work in your ministry and uh, within your government? Generally? Yeah, it has changed uh, the way we work quite a great deal uh, in the sense that uh, previously uh, for us to come up with, with reports, it would take a long, t a long time because imagine we've got about 28 donors and for us to uh, put together information for 28 donors, manipulate it, uh, it was very uh, cumbersome for us. So what has been the main difference? First of all, reports. We're able to meet the user needs. Uh, we're able to provide information to the budget division for uh, budget planning at the beginning of the year. Uh, that information is used, for example, uh, for uh, budget estimates as well as uh, monitoring the budget itself, uh, how is the budget being executed. Uh, in, in other ways, you have to look at uh, how the displacements are coming in. Development Gateway has been very uh, useful in the whole process, right away from the time when we uh, decided to start using the aid management pl platform. As you can imagine out there, there are so many uh, uh, providers of uh, aid management systems, and uh, most of them would like you uh, as a government uh, to adopt their system uh, there and then. So Development Gateway uh, enabled us to uh, travel to countries where the AMP uh, system uh, is being uh, implemented, including uh, in Ethiopia, where we had a study tour uh, just to see how uh, um, AMP is being used there, whether it's indeed uh, a system which is useful uh, in terms of uh, meeting our needs. So after that study tour, uh, of course there were other service providers as well who wanted us to use their systems. Uh, we tried to uh, have a look at the systems, but at the end of the day, we found out that the uh, aid management platform was superior to all these other systems. Um, after making that decision, uh, Development Gateway came to Malawi uh, to make an assessment uh, in terms of where we are, in terms of the uh, infrastructure for, say, IT, uh, as well as uh, uh, the human resource uh, requirements, uh, so that uh, thereafter, uh, there will be in a position to uh, implement uh, the system. And the support from the uh, Development Gateway has been very key in the sense that uh, we have been uh, trained. Um, first of all, at the time when the system was just implemented, uh, some uh, uh, staff within the Ministry of Finance were trained uh, on the use of the system. And uh, after further refinements to the system, or in other words, enhancements uh, to the system, Development Gateway again came to Malawi uh, to train uh, staff on the new features of the system. So that has allowed us to be uh, very current in terms of the uh, new features uh, of the uh, system. Yeah, thank you. For us in Malawi, we have come a long way up to the point where now we would like to uh, move towards uh, the uh, online uh, updating of the, of the data by the development partners. And we would like to learn from colleagues uh, from other countries, particularly Madagascar, uh, Tanzania, as well as Burkina Faso and other countries which are currently uh, updating the uh, data online. That is, the donor partners are doing that. Uh, what did they do for them to migrate from uh, the current uh, stage at which we are 
uh, to the decentralized uh, data uh, recording uh, that is by, by the donors. So we expect to uh, learn a lot and uh, those lessons uh, when we go back we'll try to implement them uh, within the context of uh, what would apply uh, in Malawi.